Hello everyone, Frank Spangler here for Learning Media Skills and in today's quick tips for EDIUS Pro, we're going to take a look at how to resize media in your project. Uh, of course, most every project these days has some still photographs that uh, need to be worked into the edit and oftentimes you want to kind of recompose the shot or, or scale it down and uh, sometimes scale it up and reposition everything and even with video today we are working and filming with 8k 5k 6k 4k cameras and often we're just editing on an hd timeline oftentimes you might want to recompose the shot after the fact you might find that whoever shot it uh, didn't leave enough headroom or has too much headroom uh, and uh, you want to reposition so that you've got a more pleasing composition well, of course, you can do that by resizing your media on the timeline. And today, we're going to take a look at how to do that. All right, here we are in a HD project. We have a number of sequences here, but I've brought over some uh, still shots and some video shots that uh, are 4K or above, and we'll show you how we work with these. Now, when you drop media onto an HD timeline, EDIUS is going to conform that as best as possible. Um, however, most media is going to be larger than the uh, resolution of HD uh, video. These days, uh, most cameras are shooting 4K and most photographs uh, are coming in at more like around 7,000 across. And yet, the first time you look at this, you might say, well, this photograph isn't big enough to fill the screen for an HD timeline. But that's just because most photographs are not in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, some may be, depending on uh, the camera settings, but most are more like this uh, 2 by 3 type format. And so for most of the photographs that you bring into an HD timeline, you're going to have to resize. How to do that? Well, it's quite simple. With the media that you want to resize selected, just point your mouse to it and click on it, uh, you just need to hit the F7 key, and that will open up what's called the Layouter dialog box or, or window or screen, whatever you like to call it. And here is where we can resize it. Uh, over here you'll see the percentage of the uh, pixels that are currently filling the screen. So we've got lots of room to, to scale this up. To help us see this better, let's maybe reduce our internal window size here to 25%. Here that gives us a better feel for uh, what it looks like over here as well. With what some might call black bars on each side of the image. Now there's several ways that you can quickly resize this. You could go to any corner that you see here and just click down on your mouse button and drag and that resizes it. And here's where you have the opportunity of recomposing the shot itself. If you wanted to move this around a little bit once you've got it about the size you want then as you go into the screen itself, you'll see that your mouse cursor turns into an indicator that lets you know that you can now click down and move this around. And so if we wanted to bring that more over to this side, we can do that. And once you're happy with the composition, just hit OK, and that is now filling up your whole screen. Okay, let's see one other approach. We've got another still shot over here. Again, F7 and... Oops, we didn't have that one selected. Just point uh, to the media that you want to resize and make sure it's selected. Just click on it, then hit your F7. It shows up in the window. And this time, rather than point to any corner and drag with our mouse, what we're going to do is go over to the right-hand panel here and find the percentage and just scale it up by pointing to it with your mouse, clicking down, and then dragging up or dragging down to resize as you like. And once again, when you've got it to about the size you want, you can go in and reposition it as you would like. And when you're happy, hit OK. And it's basically the same procedure with video. This one here, anytime you want to check the properties to see what you're working with, of course it, it will show up in the bin too. If you're working with a 
two monitor system this will be easier to check but yeah we see this one is an ultra 4k uh, shot and that's why we're seeing black bars at the top and bottom again let's go in on this one select it hit f7 and this time i think i'm just going to use the percentage points and just click on it and scroll up to resize and i think i'm just going to really get a tight shot so i'm going to bring it up quite a bit reposition maybe bring it over and when you're happy hit ok and uh, maybe just uh, here's another one that wasn't framed very well by the photographer we see that there's a little bit too much headroom there for a nice composition so we want to go in and resize that reposition it some let's check make sure that uh, we can do that uh, that we'd need it to be a 4k video in order to do that so let's open it up and we see yeah it's only at 50 percent so we've got lots of room to stretch that out let's just bring that up and reposition and when you're happy just hit okay so you can see once you catch on to how to resize in edius it is very easy quick and convenient all right, well, that does it for this uh, quick tip on how to resize your media in Edius Pro. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of quick tips, not only on Edius, but other software and hardware as well. See you next time.